I'm alive, alive, oh, on the outchops, drinking coffee in the bagpuss. Yay. Not sure if anyone's going to join or if I'm here on my own. Looks like I'm here on my own. Oh, well. I'll just do this on my own then. How long does it take for notifications to go out anyway? I don't know. Say hello if you are there. And if you do want to, I mean, you don't have to say hello, one person watching, it's fine. I appreciate that uh, people should be busy right now. Oh, there are some people. Hooray. <laughs> uh, hi, Rachel B. And hi, Joy Dickinson. How are you doing? Still only says that one person is watching up in the corner there. Um. Oh, and hi, Chris Tyler. I'm keeping you busy. Good. Hi, Noor. I just replied to your message, Noor. Yay. Oh, blimey. Now everyone's here. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, just sat down. Perfect timing. Excellent. I hope you've got a coffee, Kelly. Um, Steve doesn't want to say hello. Okay. In that case, there we go. Uh, Linda UK99. Hello, Joan. Hello, gorgeous. And Anne Pennacott, it is a nice surprise, isn't it? Oh, and hey, Shiv. Um, uh, Kerry Davison, hello, intelligent zombie. Welsh one near. Going for a walk. That's absolutely fine. You are allowed. Oh, hang on. Just had an offer on something. Let me see. Yeah, go on then. That's a nice way to start, isn't it? My word, you're looking <laughs> rather hairy. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I do try. <laughs> Hi, Susan. Hi, Lainey. Um, like more than Andrew these days. Rude. I don't think so. Well, oh, okay. No, fair enough. But Nick invited us on his channel and Carla invited me on her channel. And what am I going to do? You know? Um, hey, Fandria. Hello, just listening. Got a clean up for mother in law coming for my twin. Oh, congratulations, 20 years. Well done. Uh, right, so there's a, there is a reason. Yes, I know, Steve. There is a reason uh, for going live. A uh, lovely lady called Sharon, who I think, do you remember a while ago there was an auction? And I think she was one of the ladies that bought a silver bangle. I think it's the same person. Oh, thank you for my payment of my brooch. Thank you. And um, she was very kind and she sent me birthday present, which is this. How fab is that? It's Joe Brown's home with. It's so pretty. Isn't that lush? And um, also sent the cat some treats. And um, uh, she sent my mum a lovely gift as well. And my mum was like, like, why are people buying me presents? I'm like, because they like you, mum. You know, they, like that's sometimes what people do is they buy you presents and, you know, make you feel happy and that's nice. So having to explain gift giving to my mother, joke. Um, but yeah, so, so she's happy and she, they, it was like um little gardening mug and some hand cream um and some gardening gloves and she took the hand cream and she was like, oh, this is lovely. Um, so yeah, also what was in the parcel was a bag of jewellery. So I'm going to open this up and I know some of you such as Carla who probably won't be watching and Steve who's probably going to be disappearing at some point because, you know, although he's a big time jewellery seller now, so we probably should pay attention. Mm. Yes, Kelly's hair is looking fantastic, isn't it? Right, so we're going to open this up. I haven't got jewellery cam on today because I couldn't be bothered to set it up. And you can't see it from there. It's probably better over there-ish, isn't it? And then maybe I can do that. How's that? Is that okay? Oh, that's nice. Hello, dickhead. I presume you're not talking to me there, or, you know, maybe you are, I don't know. 
Um, I do know how George Ross fakes sales, but I'm not going to tell you, Kate. Are you the real Kate? It's very exciting. Um, yeah, anyways. Uh, let's open this up then, shall we? Um, have you put Charlie? No, Charlie. Charlie is there. Charlie Brooker is there. This is what one of the gifts that Lainey got me because she knows that I love Charlie Brooker. He is my soulmate. Like, me and him were meant to be together, and he goes and marries that bloody Connie Huck. I mean, I love Connie Huck, don't get me wrong. You know, she is ace, and I see what he sees in her. But he's my soulmate. As me, stop scratching. Thanks, Mandy. You're a charmer, that's for sure. Um, oh, and other birthday present. It's not actually my birthday just yet, by the way. My birthday's on the 31st, so I know a few people said, happy birthday on Instagram. And um, it's not actually my birthday today. But we can pretend if you like. That's me. Um, up there, which you can't see, Craig the Monocle found me. The right Jelly Babies mug, the one that says they're in a wibbly wobbly world of their own, which was like my favourite teenage mug, and I used to drink mushroom tea out of it and go all a bit squiffy. So I'll put that there. So that's rather kind of him. Yes, he's on my precious selves. And Azami, are you coming to join us for this? Obviously. Because I can't possibly do a live show without Azami wanting to wrap her tail around me. Isn't that right, Bicket? Come on then. No? Where are you going? You don't know where you're going. Make up your mind. Are you going to sit there? <sighs> Nobody buys your shit. Aww. Hi, Helen. Happy birthday, Alex. I don't... Thanks, Dee. Uh, it's my grandson's birthday today and Prince George too. Are they the same person? As as me, you're gonna be in the way. You don't care, do you? No. This is what cats are like, Steve. This is this is your life. This is it, okay? Right. So bag of what looks like mainly vintage jewellery in there. Oh, nobody buys you shit. I'm sure I've bought you something before. And and you were very, like, unappreciative of it. And so never bothered again. So you, you've got, when people buy you things, you've got to appreciate stuff. Because that's how presents work. You don't just go, right, thanks. Anyways, shall we see what we've got? So we'll pull out some bits, shall we? Now, it looks mostly vintage stuff, which, you know, is fabulous for me, isn't it? Um, yes. And what did you do with it, Steve? You you forgot it and you left it somewhere. But little gold tone. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. As of me, seriously. Ooh, and some rather fabulous earrings. Very 80s, made in China. Um, thanks for the brooch. You'll be worn with pride by my mother-in-law. Which one was that? Cause you, oh, it, was it the little chair one with the wool on it? Um, hi, Susie Mixon. You sound like an interesting person. Um, Susie and uh, Nia. Questionable people there. Mods, you seem to have some kind of issue with George Ross. I mean, other than the hair, I, I don't know what your problem was. And he mugged her off, he is horrible. Well, Susie Mixon, maybe that's something that you need to uh, address to George, really. You know, I don't actually know George that well, so I couldn't possibly comment. Little vintage brooch. Oh, oh, that's nice. Yes, yeah, she knitted me a wonderful blanket, so it was my thank you gift to her. 
Do you know what a necklace, a necklace is called that just drapes around the neck, kind of like a scarf? I have had one of them before and there was a name for it, but I know I didn't find out that name. So I just called it like a long tassel open necklace or something like that. Give me two seconds and I will be back. Hold on. Hold on. Just got to... Just got to quickly buy something on eBay. Two seconds. Oh, it's okay. Um, yes, you had near, but um, it's okay. Mm. I've got um, a little string of faux pearls. Yes, take it as a compliment that uh, that they see you as an exalting member of the uh, YouTube community, and they wanna they wanna be you. I mean, who wouldn't? You're a Welsh wonder. Right? Oh my word! Look at these. These are rather fabulous. What reseller do you hate the most? Stee, obviously. Charity shop cat. They're rather disco fabulous. Bit Studio 54, wouldn't you say? Why charity shop cat? What reseller do you hate the most? This is a great conversation to be having whilst talking to a lot of resellers. Hashtag just saying. Um, a little rope twist there. What were you oh, wowing out? The, the earrings, Joan. <laughs> They're rather fabulous. We've got some, what's these? These are glass made to look a bit like tiger sign stuff. Yeah, I think they're glass. Nobody buys me shit or copies me. Um, Take that as a reverse compliment. I admit I am a proud Lex fan. Oh, thank you very much. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that we've got the trolls in because let's face it, it, uh, it you know, makes things a bit more fun. Some clip-ons, these ones don't really suit me though. I suit like big red chunky ones. Hello, mother. I'm Hi. just live on tin to wear. Where did you go? Oh, I had to go into Tesco's because they didn't have anything in Asda. They didn't have anything in Asda? Nothing well, at all? Have, well, nothing in Asda. The limb, the limp was, kale? Yeah, I can't have limp kale. Can I can't you? have limp kale. How did the blood test go? <laughs> You've got some. It's red. It's re Mum's got red blood, well, so she passed the test. Blue, really, but it should be blue. We should be related to Danny Dyer. <laughs> Damn it! Who isn't? Who isn't related to Danny Dyer? Apparently, Lainey isn't related to Dan Danny Dyer. They're all saying hello. Oh, and hello, hello Steve O'Brano. Hello, folks. Speaking of nowls, we've got a nowl because no jewelry hall is complete without a nowl. Um. I'm definitely a Leo too. It is compulsory. Mm. Oh. We've got some oh, little seed bead, very 1950s. Hey, Lex's mum. Lady says the jam is amazing. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoy it. There we go. <laughs> Lainey's relating to Aunt and Deck. That's quite possible. We'll brush angle. Oh, this is nice. Right, no. We've got a little uh, Scottish thistle. Oh, that'd be made out of, that'd be made out of uh, horn. Yes. That's Not horn, things, like that carved horn. horn. Not very good for vegans. Not good for vegans, but you're not really meant to eat them. <laughs> um, Lex's, Lex's mum jam is the best jam I've had half a jar already, says Josh. <laughs> 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 oh, 
um, who's the jewelry of? Um, it's eight. It's of um, uh, Sharon. I tagged her on Instagram as well. Um, she, I think it's the same lady that bought something off me in the charity auction as well. Uh, we've got, oops, this probably would have said made in Germany or something, but little kitsch brown plastic beads. And yes, hello, Aid. Danny Dyer is not my father, gutted. Oh, I treat you. Oh, Danny Dyer. Um, lovely long belly dancer style, like with the little foreign coins on there. Does A do jewellery? Everyone does jewellery now. That's a fact. Everyone. Everyone does jewellery now. Um, huh. Maybe coral. Tastes yummy. Just really fine little beaded necklace. Possibly coral. Maybe. Maybe. Depends on the clasp. Well, it's just a, a rollover clasp. It's not a thingy clasp. Uh -huh. Ooh, some fab rather. I listed some of these today. Wash your mouth. Ooh, a Swarovski now. Nice. Oh, this one's brought a friend and it doesn't want to let go. So this 1950s, probably from Hong Kong plastic, has uh, made friends with these double chains. Very retro. Oh, we've got a little cameo. Oh, that's pretty. That's rather nice, and it says something on the back. Isn't that lovely? That's a lovely carved shell. Oh, hey, Nico. I'm not. Um, I'm not named after a laxative. I am named after Alex from Clockwork Orange. And then Lex comes from a 90s TV show. Right, so this has got something written on the back. I have my loop, which is always good. So we're going to have a little look and see what that says. Um, 2.5 millimeter, I think, 2.5 M. Gold-plated WBS. That's gold-plated. What are you booming for? Um, you can let them hang around a little bit if you like. It's, it's up to you guys, really. Mods, like if you if you fancy just whacking them out, um, <laughs> or you know you can play with them. It's fine. If they haven't got like. You know much to do so yeah that's cool 2.5 in gold plated wbs so i'll look that up later so that's nice that's that's a treasure that one that one goes to the other side because that's like a mm, i love that right we've got one art deco style earring which looks a bit fabulous, but it's missing some stones. But I like that. I like that. So that goes on pressure side. Um, who else is into getting into jewellery? The Chris, uh, you started doing jewellery as well. Everyone, everyone's doing jewellery now. Everyone. Go to Shelley for job lots as well. There you go. Shelley, uh, Shelsta Rooney on insta she's getting a mondo huge delivery of stuff and uh i think she's going to be selling it all off in job lots well not all of it i'm sure she'll take some stuff out for herself and some little um plastic seed bead ones a bit of plastic fantastic very retro kitsch there Uh, this will be, probably be from Hong Kong, 1960s. Like, it's almost like a centipede, isn't it? Question next. When posting items, you just put it in a jiffy bag or a box. It depends on how delicate the item is. 
and how much they spent on it and what platform they bought it from me. So if they buy it off eBay and it's just a standard thing that probably won't break, I'll bubble wrap it and then I'll, um, in a jiffy bag, like in a bubble mailer. And if it's something quite pricey, or if they bought it off me from um, Etsy, then it goes in a nice box. So there. Mm -hmm. And Steve was doing mod duties. Oh, he's a good boy, really, isn't he, that Steve? He's a good boy. The more um, little earrings there. Another clip-on. We've got a clip-on. Very 80s style. That's fab. Let's hope it's got a friend. Paul Gay gamer guy oh do you think they're gamers is that it well haven't they got like you know fortnite to play or something i don't i don't know what else they the kids are playing at the moment uh we've got some faux pills it says made in england on the class with a little bit of sparkle in there if they are getting insulting please do let me know what the insults are because i like a good insult that was asking for trouble wasn't it Right, we've got chunks of little bits of glass in there on a stretch. I wonder whether that is, that's probably sea glass, that, so like chunks that you find on the beach and things. Oh, your cameo brooch might be by Ward Brothers, one on Etsy for £22. Thank you very much, Anne. There we go. One hi, uh, hi Kay Gilson. Well, that's lovely, isn't it? They love playing with their triggers, with their joysticks, Mandy. I'm surprised they've got a hand free to uh, to actually text stuff. A rather fabulous kitsch, like 60s, 50s or 60s faux pearl brooch. I like that one. Little dichroic glass pendant, studio glass. That's a bit fab, lovely colour on that. Ooh, this is nice. So very Indian in style. I like that. Hey Nadine. So I wonder, I wonder if that may or may not be silver. Looks like it might have had like a gold tone on it at some point. Can't see any markings on it though. No, it is quite crude. That's still quite nice though. I've got like a little Indian jewelry lot. I'll probably put it in with them and then build some up. Ooh, we've got another one of those earrings. Shame it's missing stones because they're gorgeous. But look at these lovely Art Deco earrings. And they're definitely like 1920s, you can tell by the construction. Yes, Kelly's definitely coming next time because I very much missed her. There is a tiny, tiny little mark on the back. Tiny. Um, which looks like a curly G and an M, maybe. I don't know. I shall keep them aside for investigation. But yeah, it's a shame they're missing their stones. But that's kind of cool. Hi, Sue Crew. How are you, Sue Crew? Right, we've got the dangly earring. Have all the mod, um, the of all the um, trolls gone? Because you know they're kind of fun sometimes. <laughs> right, who's this? This is Avon, and we got a little bunny rabbit. A little articulated bunny babbit. Oh, so Paizo. Paizo says no, so I presume that he's one of the trolls. So hi, Pai. Real name, 3.14. Yeah, anyway. Like those, I know. They they are lovely, aren't they? Shall I keep them aside for you, Anne? Are you going to fix them? I can keep them aside for you. They are super duper pretty. I like them. They're a cutie little bunny. 
Oh, Sue, you are anyway. <laughs> hey, Sam. Hello, Margaret. Yes, yeah, Sue, join in the drawing. Right. Fab 1960s clip ons. Little beady clusters. Got to go pay in word association with the door. Penis. Penis. Word association. <laughs> Steve Green. Penis. I like them. Precious pile for them. Ooh, got a little tie clip. <laughs> Swank. S W A N K. Swank. Nice. That's quite pretty though. I like that. That's nice. Quite broke. Isn't it? Quite baroque. And if it ain't baroque, don't fix it. That's a joke. Yes. Bonus points. Yeah, we've got troll sand. It's quite exciting. Ooh, um tart. No. Um chat. French for cat. <laughs> There's some little enamels. Yeah, they've been they've been mainly bashed, but but you know I don't mind the odd one because it you know. Hi Claire, have you got your? Oh no, it only went out yesterday. Monday. Is it? Yes, Claire, have you got have you got your little parcel from me yet? I think it's cracked. Oh, some cute little bows. Little bow earrings. Oh, nice. Right. Oh, what's this huge necklace? Oh my word, okay. This is fun. Real shark tooth, real, real black shark tooth. <laughs> yeah, you gotta let me play with them first. It's only fair. That's rather funky, isn't it? What do we think? I don't think it's quite new. Um, it's coming by Royal Mail. Signed for, but they don't actually get you to sign for it, do they? That's cool. Another little plastic one. It sort of looks a little bit like agate, uh, but it's not because it's plastic. That's nice. These are very en vogue at the moment. So these um, 80 style flat power dressing. Um, oh, it's not twat. Ooh. <gasps> See you next Tuesday. Is it that one? Is it? <laughs> Just like that. Oh, we've got a little crystal, little glass crystal pendant. That's cool. I've got a spare chain that I can put that on. That's nice, like that. Oh, another one of those fab earrings. That's cool, I've got a pair of them. I like, it's nice. And a pair of those as well. Hi, Gimbal. I win Hangman, woo! Uh, why do you think George Ross's hair is bad? Oh. Well, it doesn't move. I don't think it's bad hair. I think it's uh, George Ross hair. Oh, that's a shame. It's missing a pin and a couple of stones, but that would have been a lovely brooch otherwise. Isn't that nice? Um, Kelly's favourite word is bollocks, that's it. Hey Z, how are you? You here to learn about jewellery so you can sell jewellery like everyone else sells jewellery? Go to Shelster Rooney, she's got lots of um, job lots that she's going to be selling because she's just bought um, half a metric tonne. Not half a metric tonne, quarter of a metric tonne. Right, this has got a modern clasp on it, but it is actually vintage. And that, again, is like plastic made to look like agate. 
My favourite swear word is fake their sales. Oh, okay. We well, do quite like to use it a lot, don't you? Thing is, you've kind of come to the wrong place for George Ross chat because, like, I don't really comment on the guy that much. So it's not really um, a place over here for it, you know? Um, I know, Shelly, Shelly Cree, yeah. She bought a lot, a lot. So please go and buy some from Shelly. Right, this is a nice, um, probably 1960s or 70s. I like that bead in the middle. Oh, see, that's a bit of a love, look nice, but also, yeah, but thank you very much for that super chat. That's very, very nice. Very kind of you, Z. Screw jewelry, I hate it. Cool. <laughs> I quite like it. A lot of people do. <laughs> a lot of people like selling it now. Oh, these are really cute. Little sparkly floral earrings, they're lovely. Um, George is getting love today and he doesn't even have to turn just so um have I I have met George Ross. He looks as Andrew though. Um this is nice, like coral beaded necklace with a little bit of dyed mother of pearl there. That'll probably go into my um uh, holiday bundles. It's all you it's all my fault. Yeah, I'm sorry. What can I say? Right, what few bits left? We've got Queenie. All right, Queenie. Um, where does she get it from? Um, from auctions. Is that what you're asking, Double Karma? Oh no, um, Jules. I don't think Bad Wolf has been. Oh, maybe Bad Wolf has been closed, cloned. Bad Wolf should have a spanner, I think. But Bad Wolf is also, she's a bit of a troll herself, but she's cool. <laughs> um, I think she's bought it privately. Um, Double Karma. Yeah. So it's a private purchase. I'm pretty sure I know who from. Yeah, she's trying to wind me up. It's fine. Sue Bad Wolf is an actual troll. <laughs> oh yay it's another one for the sue crew the original sue hi sue some again rather fabulous 80 style earrings oh does she not have a span i could have sworn i'd spanned bad wolf but never mind i shall do in future some very art deco style earrings it's nice with the black stone in the middle there. And we've got some more ones for pierced ears. So a little retro red hoops there. They're yeah, nice. Yeah, she's she's a, a very naughty troll. We've got some beaded knot clip-ons. I should have a spanner for all the grief I get from Lex. No! No, Aid. You love the grief. What are you on about? You love the attention. Um, ooh, some plastic, but with a little bit of glitter sparkliness in there. That's very pop art, that. That's fun. And another pair of earrings. These are very 80s, 90s. That's nice. I've never had a spell on a cause you person of Oh, okay. I shall, um, well, when I can, I shall spanner you up. Isn't it? It was a birthday present from Sharon, as was all of this jewellery. Very nice, isn't it? Uh, we've got a little fur clip or shoe clip. Here. Fur clip. Missing a couple of stones, but still very pretty. That's nice. You don't need to display your spanner in this age. <laughs> 
Right, pattern pending, so this is probably 1950s or 60s. Little pendant with some tiny, tiny dried flowers in there. That's cool. And then last couple of bits. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, we've got Nippy Clip, made in England. So this is probably Stratton. And it's a little tie club with a little beer tankard on it. That's cool, isn't it? I like that. And then last thing is this. It's a little brooch, floral brooch, carved and painted. I think that's celluloid. That's super pretty. That's very nice, isn't it? Yay. So that's an awesome little haul there, isn't it? So favorite things, very much like these earrings, just a shame they're missing the stones. But um, I'll give them a little test because they may be silver, I don't know. I do really like them, mind. I wonder if, I don't think I've got any square stones, that's the only problem. And I like these little Bobby Dazzler sparkler earrings. And of course, beautiful cameo. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. What a lovely little haul that was. Thank you very much, I'm going to have a drink now. Mm. Okay, so what is everybody doing this afternoon? Obviously, Auntie Sue and Kelly are going to be doing some work. Mm -hmm. And um, I've got to do some work as well. I've done 45 listings so far today. And I would like to do another 25 eBay listings today. And then I've got 20 Etsy items that I would like to put on my shop, either today or tomorrow. Some of which are super duper pretty. I've got some lovely rings to put on. Um, like I've got a very nice silver and citrine ring. Yes, I've been I've been a good girl, Sam. Today I've been I have been listening. This gorgeous opal one. That's really lovely. Got to get car boot stuff drafted. Yes. Sell some things. New carpet prepping, lovely. Ooh, you'll be sending me pictures. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Sorry, I thought you would you were just trolling me again and you were and you were, you know, gonna send send me some nudes again. But of amber. Get a black light. That's what you need. That's fab. Look at that. That's lovely sparkly. Oh, sorry, Heather. Um, I have a shitload of stuff I bought over the past two weeks that are still sat there in bags go, oh, fun. Gardening, washing, and grocery shopping. Yeah, but that actually sounds quite nice, Claire. Look at that little marker seat heart. That's super pretty. Oh, Sam. Can't you get them to save it for you? You know, never mind. Little smoky brown quartz ring. I'm going to be popping these on Etsy. This is a cool ring. So this is silver and it's got like little spinners. Isn't that nice? Who's that? The reselling prime minister says yes. That's nice. Excellent. Is that yes to everything? Or just yes in general? Um, little mother of pearl. That's super pretty. Did almost 300 listings at the weekend and oh my word, I know that feeling. That's crazy. Um, I have a man who comes for it and ah. Uh, that's such a shame. Um, little pink crystals in there. I am JD Network, can't get in, need my spanner back please. Don't think so dear, 
<laughs> I think I know Mr. JD Network when I see him. I did think of doing a pre is that wonder? Oh, come on, Chris. And then another lovely moonstone one. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, you can bonk that one if you like. Um, Mr. Reselling Prime Minister. Lisa Louise. Can't quite see your picture there. Anyways, um, right, that's me done. 40 minutes. Um, oh, got it. Um, I did sue, honestly. I, I, I'm going to have to watch it again tonight because it took me about like 10 minutes and pff, that was me done. So thank you very much. It was great. <laughs> but yeah, so thank you again for Sharon for my lovely cushion and uh, kitty biscuits and mummy present and pretty jewelries. And um, I'm going to pop off now and have a cigarette and a wee and then carry on with listings. So I've got to do another 25 eBay listings and 20 Etsy listings. And then that's my work done for the week, probably. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, Friday, I think Seller Ladies Live is on this channel. So do come and join me two o'clock on Friday. I have no idea what the subject will be, but hey-ho, bring questions anyway, just in case. Right, I shall catch you all later, and bye-bye uh, now. Bye-bye.